Okay, so this is a small bottle of Carlsberg. It's uh, only 275 milliliters and a Carlsberg glass. Um, as you might be able to tell, this has been in the fridge. So, uh, yeah, I'll show you the packaging and then I'll open it up. I think this cost about £4 or something. But, yeah, I mainly bought it for the glass. Uh, when I saw the glass, I thought it looked really nice. So there's Carlsberg on the top and you've got, like, these logos on it. And on the back it says, uh, the Carlsberg branded pint glass. The Carlsberg pint glass not only looks super cool and stylish, but has some clever stuff inside to help enhance your drinking experience. That sounds quite interesting. The shape of the glass makes it easier to hold and the embossed logo gives you improved grip. The printed pattern in the base of the glass helps keep your pint taste refreshing right until the last drop as well as helping to produce bubbles so that you get a great head on your beer. So next time you reach into the fridge for a Carlsberg or Carlsberg export, don't forget to use your branded Carlsberg pint glass for the perfect pint at home. And it's uh, 3.8, so... And it's, uh, yeah, it says wash before use, I'm not really going to bother with doing that. Uh, suitable for use in dishwashers, so... Uh, yeah, let's open this. don't think I've ever reviewed a, uh, a Carlsberg on this channel before. So here is the glass. I'll actually get a cloth just to wipe off this uh, condensation so you can see it better. Okay so I've got a cloth and I've got my Rubik's Cube bottle opener. Okay, so there is the glass. It's a really nice looking glass, in my opinion. It says 1847 there. Got the Carlsberg logo. It kind of has a little bit of a like a Coca-Cola feel, um, because it's like this wavy line, and then you've got like another wavy line as well there. Yeah, really nice looking glass. I think out of all the glasses that I've got, I don't have that many. I think this is probably my most favourite looking one. And on the bottom it's got that, got like a weird thing. Um, it's on the other side of the glass to keep your pint taste refreshing, um, even when there's only a little bit left. And uh, it helps to produce more bubbles as well. So it's like it's something that's etched into the glass there. Alright, so let's get the bottle out. So a really small bottle. Don't think it's going to... I don't think it's going to fill up much of this glass, but you can see it's got it's got the same thing going on there on the side as what you've got on the glass. Three point eight percent volume. Yeah, let's crack this open. Yeah, it fills up maybe a little bit more than half the glass. Or oh, then again, it probably is about half the glass, because even though it's kind of a bit past the halfway mark, this bottom part is more thinner than the top part, so it's probably maybe half a glass or, or less. So yeah, let's uh, see what it smells like. I'm not expecting much, because it is just a you know an everyday lager after all. It smells quite nice, kind of zesty. Um, 
it's actually been a long time since I've had like just your like your generic everyday lager. But yeah, it tastes really nice, really refreshing. Um, I used to drink lager quite often uh, several years ago, but now it's it's very rare that I drink it because I just much prefer like ales and stouts because ales and stouts they've got more character, they've got more flavour. Um, and each one can be quite different from the other, whereas your everyday lagers, there's not much character there. Um, they kind of, they're kind of like very light tasting, and a lot of them pretty much taste the same. You know, you, you can't really dif differentiate them that well, if that's the right word. Yeah, it's really nice. It's um, it's really refreshing. Um, you know, as generic lagers go, um, this is pretty good, to be honest. I mean, may maybe I'm just really liking it right now because I'm thirsty, and this has come out of the fridge, so it's like really, really cold and everything. Um, and you know, maybe it's because it's been a long time since I've had a lager. Um, but yeah, it's not bad at all. I think this would definitely be really nice, you know, having it really cold on a hot summer's day. Um, I think I'll give the lager itself an 8 out of 10. And as for the glass itself, I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. I just think it's really, really nice looking. So yeah, that is pretty much it. Thanks for watching.